Hi, I'm Charlie. If you're looking for a low care perennial flower that does great in full sun, blooms midsummer to fall, and you really don't have to worry too much about it, look no further than Echinacea. Now I know Echinacea or the purple cone flower has been around a long time. And of course it is a native plant that grows out in the prairies as a wildflower and you can grow it in a meadow too. But I want to talk about growing it in the garden. And that's where a lot of people love to grow Echinacea. You can grow the traditional purple cone flower, the species version, and get a big, grow, big stand of it like I have uh, behind me here. Um, and you can just let it grow and it'll keep spreading and spreading over time because it self sows readily. But what I want to really focus on are some of the new varieties that are out there. There are some really great different colors that are being bred into Echinacea. And you can grow white Echinacea now with beautiful white petals that kind of shine next to the other colors of Echinacea. You can grow yellow Echinacea, really golden color, almost like a Rudbeckia in some ways. You can grow the beautiful red Echinacea with vil really velvety kind of uh, petals on them and of course you can grow orange echinacea too how about that for something a little bit different in the garden all of these combinations are beautiful when they're grown together so you can get a stunning setting now you can grow or buy individual plants with these colors or you can get a mix like the cheyenne spirit mix or the summer song mix what's nice about these is they're seed grown they look like echinacea plants with the cone flowers and the different colored petals and they attract bees butterflies and birds to them as well you probably want to avoid some of the over hybridized ones like the hot papaya for example that one looks kind of cool but it's not really great for pollinators and bees so get a combination of these different colored echinaceas grow them in your garden and then when the petals start falling keep the cones out there because they're a great food source for birds such as finches we love to leave our echinacea out there all winter long it looks nice in the winter as well and then in the spring we'll kind of clean it up and that's also when we'll thin out patches and take out some of those self-sown little seedlings because if you don't it'll really kind of take over so grow echinacea for all the colors for the wildlife and the beauty it provides to your garden if you want more gardening information go to my website gardeningwithcharlie.com <music>